Hello all, wanted to give you a little snippet into how you can make a Google slide for your OutSchool classroom. So first things first, you need a Google account. Here on my Google account, I'm going to click the little access point over here on the side and I want to go to my Google Drive. All of my files are stored in my Google Drive. From my drive, it'll tell me these are the things that I have been recently working on. My gravity class is up and running. I'm currently working on my phonics class and my reading fluency class called Animals Can Move. So I'm gonna click on phonics fun for everyone. When I double click, it takes me right to the slides page. Um, so everything in here is kind of like a glorified, wonderful PowerPoint. Um, if you have used PowerPoint before, you know your little plus can help you add pages. So I'm just going to go ahead and just add. Every time I add something, it puts it as a next page. So I'm going to put this as my very first page. Um, I like to add um, pages at the very top as like my title page. And then at the very bottom, I have my class description page that I mentioned in my video. This is the actual class description that I posted on my OutSchool class listing so that whatever is in my class listing, whatever I've advertised to parents, that is what is going to show up in my class. So I want to make sure what I advertise is what they're going to see in the classroom. So I added a slide with my little plus. Um, just go ahead and pick which browser it is that you would like to use. Um, I titled this class phonics fun for everyone. Every time I save something, it go ahead, it, <laughs> it goes ahead and saves it for me. Um, I really like using word art, but you can type just right here into the screen and everything you type will just go right in there. Um, but I don't enjoy using the type the text as much as I enjoy using the word art. So you can insert images right from your um, computer. You can say, I wanna upload from my computer. I can search the web. I can use my drive. I just like copy and pasting a lot. So I have been using, um, I was on Zoom. Pixabay for a lot of my different classes. It's free and I can access everything that I need right here. So I'm just gonna pick um, alligators. I live in Florida. Let's just go ahead and pick alligator. So when I type in alligator, do, 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 these pictures pop right up for me. Ooh, let's go ahead and copy that guy. So I'm going to go ahead, right click. I copied him. I'm going to go into my Google slides. Sorry. I have so many things open right now. Oh, this is the one that's open. I right click and I'm going to paste. And I pasted him right in here. Since we're working on short A, and short A says A ah, for alligator, I can use this text box and I could type alligator and I could use this text box. Um, it's great. I can change the font. I can change the size. I can make it bold, italics, underline. I can change the color. We can make it green. Sorry, my cat is meowing at us. <laughs> And now we have green alligator. Um, but I really enjoy using um, word art. So I'm going to insert right here on my insert page. I'm going to go all the way down here to word art. It's going to pop up this little dialog box asking me, what would you like to write? And I'm going to write again, alligator. Da -da -da -da! It makes a very nice looking alligator. This is a great font, but I really like using, I'm not sure how to say this, Jua, Jua font. It kind of reminds me of Comic Sans. It's a nice font. It already just defaults to this gray for me. So I'm going to change the color to a nice forest green alligator. So here I've created alligator with my text right here in my text box. I can draw a new text box if I want to, where I say A says A. Ah. I can change it to that fun Jua font. Make it bigger, bigger, bigger. Let's make it 100. Here we go. So I have a text box 
this box was already a default when I added the page and I have a word art and animation to make it a little more interesting. I'm going to insert, I clicked on what it was that I wanted to animate. I'm going to insert an animation. This is just like PowerPoint. Whatever you're clicked on is what the computer program is focusing on. So I have alligator clicked. I want it to fade in, fly in, fade out, disappear. What do I want it to do? I'm gonna ask it to spin. Whenever I click on it, it's going to spin. And then I can say, let's go ahead and see what that looks like and hit play. I'm gonna click it. And the word spins, alligator. And that's what it looks like. If I don't like that, I can change it. I can say, let's go ahead and fly in from the left. Let's play. This is what your slide will look like. You click it and then it turns into alligator. If I don't like it, I can just trash can it. No thanks, I don't want it to do that. I have, oh, I added fade in and I didn't even realize it because I clicked it. Okay, so that's just an option. So within my PowerPoint that I'm working on, I'm still in work in progress, um, I wanted to practice blending m at mat. I didn't want students to see the pictures of the mat until after we finished blending. So we'll practice blending the word mat, and then at the end, reinforce this is a mat, just so I can go ahead and see that. So once I keep clicking through, I don't have to worry about doing it in my presentation. Um, something else really simple, when I am in Zoom, I just went ahead and, um, stop, here we go. I opened a Zoom meeting just so I could practice and see what it looked like. I can go into present mode. Da, 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 da. Here is my mat. Um, I do like to keep my screens available. So I just do the full screen exit so I can still see my tabs while I'm teaching because I do sometimes have a video open. I have other things available. So that's just what has been helpful to me. So here I am in a Zoom meeting. I'm going to make it bigger. There we go. So there's, da, 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 there's the back of my head. Um, so here I am in my Zoom meeting. I'm going to share my screen. And I, all of these things are open right now. So um, this was my Google Slides that I was working on. So I go ahead and click it. And now I'm back. And this is the view that I see and my computer that's staring at the back of my head. This is what my students would see. Oh, I have a toolbar open, sorry. I can minimize that. Oh, that's my toolbar on my computer, sorry. Oh, well now I know what that looks like. So I might change that, that I don't like them seeing all those toolbars, the whole class. Good to know. So they have me and I have one other person that has joined, which is my laptop that we're looking at. Hello. And then this is what the students would see. And when I click, and say m mm at mat, it pops up on their screen. So see, when I move, my toolbar pops up and moves. So they can see my tools on my Google screen. So they can see all of those wonderful things that I can see. So now that I know that, um, full screen looks like this. And screen mode has changed over here. So now my toolbar disappeared. So it does look a little different on my screen compared to their screen. So we have the banner of people at the top compared to I can move my people around my screen and it doesn't change what's on the other screen. So just because I can see right here your screen sharing and I can see this toolbar pop up and I can say I'm going to annotate. Here's my annotate toolbar. It doesn't pop up on their screen. So what I'm doing and I'm writing and annotating does not impact their screen. But just remember, when you annotate on Zoom, you're not writing on the Google slide, you're writing on Zoom. So if I stop annotating and I go to the next slide, it's not gonna go away because it's still in Zoom. 
So if you are annotating, you need to clear. I like to clear all the drawings because I only draw one side at a time. Um, you need to clear what you are annotating before you go to the next page. If it doesn't apply, if it applies, then you can keep it. Um, but that's one thing I've definitely learned. And I see my toolbar that's here on my computer screen does not show up on the student screen. So those are just some helpful little tips. I hope this is helpful when you're trying to dig into the world of um, Google Slides and screen sharing and yay, here we go into teaching. Good luck, happy teaching.